In case you haven't heard, OmniSci has rebranded to Heavy.ai, and along with the rebrand comes a massive release, version 6.0. What's up everyone, it's Danny and today we're back with another release video where we highlight a few of our favorite features that are coming to you in the brand new release. Make sure to check out the description down below for the full release page so you don't miss a thing and while you're down there, you might as well just hit the subscribe button because you're already down there, so why not? Jumping right in, we have a brand new landing page for Immerse. Down here we have the welcome panel which will be customizable per user and easily promote new features and give general announcements about Immerse. We also have a brand new help center over here on the right hand side which makes it really easy easy for you to access various tutorials, documentations, and demos, which previously would have required users to do some digging within the account menu, which no one's really got time for these days. Speaking of the account center, we've also added a brand new admin panel which can be accessed by twirling down the account menu and changing your database to information schema. Within the admin panel, you can access system resources, which gives you insight regarding your different dashboards and tables, as well as user roles and permissions, which gives you all the information you need about your users and their permissions. Think of the admin panel like a mini command center where you'll essentially be able to monitor everything. Within the dashboards, you'll notice that our user interface has been cleaned up quite a bit, but we also have a brand new chart type, the gauge chart. The gauge chart is... Well, it's a gauge. It essentially allows you to make measurements and display various dimensional information. Within the options, there are a few ways to customize your gauge chart, such as changing the color palette, the number of segments, the range of each segment, and lots more. Definitely do play around with the gauge charts and maybe even incorporate it into your regular workflow because you're going to be able to make some pretty awesome things. Side note, if you do make anything super cool using any of the features that we talked about in today's video, please share it with us on social media. Just make sure to use the tag, hashtag heavy AI, and we can't wait to see what you guys come up with. There are also some huge changes coming to the data manager, the first being support for raster files. The data manager also got a lot smarter, and so now it's going to be able to automatically detect your file type on import, whether it's an individual file or an archive. And now for the headlining feature of version 6.0, we're introducing... Heavy Connect is a brand new component to Heavy.ai which allows you to link external data sets continually. This lets you update and refresh from the linked data source without needing to duplicate or re-ingest your data into HeavyDB every single time there's an update. This is a massive quality of life change that's meant to provide you with the same level of interactivity while saving you tons of clicks and tons of time. To take advantage of Heavy Connect, head over to the data manager. You'll still be able to import from your data source manually if you want to, so the import button has the exact same functionality as before, but you'll notice that there is a new connect button over here on the side, and clicking on this button enables heavy connect. You get the same data preview as before, but you'll notice that there is a refresh settings button up here. And once you click on that button, you'll be given options under scope of refresh to either refresh the entire data set or append to it. Below under timing type, we can also schedule a refresh for every few days slash hours. But if you aren't a fan of the whole automation process and say you need to be on an older version of a data set for some particular reason, you can also choose to refresh manually if you want. This feature is huge, so you definitely want to make sure to take advantage of it and tinker around with the refresh settings to match your specific needs. You can always modify these settings within the data manager if you want to switch things up in the future. Overall, version 6.0 introduces tons of new features which were designed to make your life easier, which keeps you happy, which makes me happy. Aww. And we all win. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a while since we've done one of these release videos, but you're definitely going to want to stay tuned because we've got a lot of big things cooking. And until then, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Peace.